like today we are at Byland Abbey. I'm going to show you the Abbey in a minute. Very, very shortly, we're going to slowly, very slowly, I'm going to reveal the Abbey to you. Extremely so there we go. Just a quick note, during my filming, my gimbal reset itself back to 1080p, so you might notice a change in quality. I'm sorry about this. Byland Abbey is a ruined abbey in a small village in the Rydale district of North Yorkshire, England, in the North York Moors National Park. It was founded as a Savignac Abbey in January 1135 and was absorbed by the Sister Sheen Order in 1147. It was not an easy start for the community which had had to move five times before settling at New Byland near Coxwold in 1177. Its early history was marked by disputes with no fewer than four other religious establishments, Furness Abbey, Calder Abbey, Revox Abbey and Newburgh Priory. However, once it had overcome these setbacks, it was described in the late 14th century as one of the three shining lights of the North. Its financial success was not as great as such abbeys as Revox, but it was famed for its sheep rearing and wool exports. Its church was said to be among the finest 12th century churches in Europe. In October 1322, King Edward II was at Byland Abbey when the Battle of Old Byland took place. The marauding Scots caught Edward so unaware that he fled to York, leaving many precious items behind. In the late 12th century, the abbey had a complement of 36 monks or 100 lay brothers, but by the time of the dissolution in November 1538, the abbey was host only to 25 monks and an abbot. In 1539, its site was granted to Sir William Pickering. The site is now maintained by English Heritage and is scheduled as an ancient monument by Historic Kingdom with great unlisted status. In October 2017, the west frontage of the church, including the famed Rose Window, underwent extensive conservation work to repair water damage and to repoint the stone walls. At the end of the 14th century, a monk at the Cistercian Abbey of Byland in Yorkshire wrote down a series of stories concerning ghosts and spirits which he had been told by local people and set them in the villages and dales of the countryside around his monastery. The stories were written on a few blank pages in a collection of manuscripts dating from the late 12th and early 13th centuries, and the anonymous monk must have intended them to be used as exemplar in the tradition of Caesarius of Heisterbot. A 
number of modern scholars, including the antiquary Mr. James, who transcribed the Latin text of these stories in the early 1920s and who was himself a well-known teller of those stories, have detected overtones of Scandinavian folklore about resonance in some of the stories. For instance, in the story which is called The Frightened Oxen, the wagon team drawing the corpse of James Tankerley almost drowns in panic, like the oxen which hauled Saul Hawkfoot's remains in Iabitja Sabda. There are also resemblances in the story which is called The Child of Richard Rontree to Guybert of Nogent's account of the ghostly crying child which appeared to his mother and to the procession of the dead which Orderic Vital is called Helicrin's Hunt. Above all, it is worth noting that the monk of Bynan seems to have been more concerned to record the eerie, grotesque, and fantastic details of ghostly occurrences than to draw moral conclusions from his stories. sense these fragments of popular legend, written down by the person to whom they were recounted in the neighborhood where the various spirits supposedly appear, bear a basic resemblance to the modern notion of a ghost story as an entertaining narrative which could be both frightening and enjoyable. Mr. James himself used a motif common to a number of these tales, whereby the unquiet spirit takes on a number of guises, writhing into different physical manifestations as though trying to thrust its way through the barrier between the worlds of the dead and the living in some of his best-known ghost stories of an antiquary. Thank you all for watching. Let's finish off with Charlotte the Drone.
thank you all for watching. We hope you enjoy. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you all soon.